Here's another problem where we'll work with conversion from one base to another. Convert the base 10 numeral 1844 to a base 5 numeral. We'll begin by writing down those powers of 5 that we can work with. We have 5 to the 4th, 5 cubed, 5 squared, 5 to the 1st, and 1. That's equal to 625, 125, 25, 5, and 1. Now, we notice that 625 will divide into 1,844. So let's begin there. We have 1,844. We're dividing that by 625. That will go twice. We'll multiply through. We're going to end up having a 0. And then that's because we get 10 plus 1. We'll add 4 plus 1 is 5. And then 6 times 2 is going to give us 12. And now we'll subtract 4, 9, 5. This tells us that we're going to end up having 2 times 5 to the 4th power as part of our expansion. Now we're going to deal with our remainder of 594. We're going to go to the next power of 5. We have 125 that can divide into 594. That will divide evenly four times. Sorry, not evenly, but we'll divide into it four times. We multiply through. 4 times 125 is going to give us 20. Carry a 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. Carry a 1. We get a 5. We subtract. That gives us a 94. This information tells us that we're going to add to our expansion 4 times 5 cubed. And now let's work with our remainder. We have a 94. We move down to the next power of 5 that we can work with. That's 25. We divide 94 by 25. That's going to go 3 times. 75 is our result. 5 from 14 is 9. 7 from 8 is 1. So this tells us that we're going to end up having 3 times 5 squared as part of our expansion. And now we go to the 19 and our next power of 5. This is 5 to the first. So we're going to have 19 divided by 5. That will divide into it 3 times. 3 times 5 is 15. Subtracting gives us a 4. This tells us that we're going to have 3 times 5 to the first power. And notice that our remainder of 4 is going to be 4 times 1. And now we take our digits that we came up with, and we write that down as 2, 4, 3, 3, 4 in base 5.